chocolate chip birthday cake remix. All right, guys, I'm here for the ice cream. <laughs> Welcome to Price Pop. What's going on, Price Pop Nation? This is Mike, CJ, and Matt here. And so a while back, we had a video with Josh Shaw talking about Cold Stone Creamery partnering up with BSN and yes. Glambia with this Cold Stone Creamery Syntha 6 protein powder, and we just bought all three flavors. Can I say something really quick? Is guys, I don't know how often, you know, everybody wants to like, Com like basically give their two cents about supplements to me. They're like, hey, this is the guy that's on YouTube talking about supplements. Everybody always for protein talks about Syntha 6. Like that is like the name that everybody drops. It's yeah. Like, Have you ever had Syntha 6? So anyway, it and must so be the, delicious. This is this is one of the products. No Explode and, and Syntha 6 carried BSN through like a decade. Eric Tomko of Muscle Elements is kind of behind some of that stuff way back in the day. But this is No Explode is like my first, first supplement. Yeah, oh yeah. Really holds a special place in exactly. My heart. But dude, this is because Syntha 6 is more like a dessert protein to me. And this sure. stuff is, is for pure taste. Yeah. And so if you're like tracking your macros, you gotta be aware of what you're about to take down here. Each of these scoops, and there's only 25 per serve per, uh, per container, 200 calories, 15 grams of carbs, four of its sugar, and 22 grams of protein. So if you're uh, on a low carb diet, this, this isn't for you really. Right, it's right. Basically it's, uh, or maybe one scoop a day. It's like a dessert thing in my opinion. But if you're going for like pure, like clean, quote unquote, high protein percentage, Obviously, it's not it. This is this is for dessert, man. Which I think it has a great place in the market for that. I mean, look, there are clean proteins out there if you want to get one. I like that there's some sloppy proteins. Yeah. Yeah. I just want some good flavor. But, yeah, I'm... but with, yeah, if you're getting 15 carbs, this stuff's got to taste good. If you're partnering with Cold Stone, it's got to taste super good. Oh yeah. And so here's the three flavors. I'm holding birthday cake remix. I can see some little sprinkles up in here. I think this is German chocolate. German it, chocolate. It's written cake. out in German. <laughs> mint, mint, chocolate, chocolate chip. Why is it double? It's like the stutter. I know that might be chip. a Cold Stone thing. I don't know. It's huh. like they got the the, the yeah. fun little thing going. So they're saying each scoop of this though, and it's a, this is a uh, 47 gram scoop, four to five ounces of water. So wow. So let's tear into them. I got three shakers set up here. Wow, I just smelled like a total birthday cake. Explosion here. That's a huge hint of chocolate, man. That's oh, wow. did, good. Did all y'all like get stuck? Yes. Like that? Yeah. yeah. That's it, funny. Yeah, they're. Uh, they're you know what? Their micro seal isn't as. Uh, the, the mint. Anyone have a shake uh, scooper anywhere? I'm trying. Oh, to I got it. one. I got one. <laughs> I'm doing the cement mixer style, right? The mint. Honestly, yeah. I mean, I can smell the mint, but it's not like super, super potent smell on the mint. Uh, probably more the chocolate than anything. Oh, there you go. Yeah. So I. Uh, yeah, no scooper on top. That's a fail right there. Man, that's I'm, a I'm hearing, big scoop for a little bit of water. I'm hearing some good things for the uh, for the mint chocolate chip. Mint flavor. chocolate chip ice cream is my second favorite ice cream. Behind cookies and cream. Cookies and cream is like, and I'm talking bluebell, like bluebell cookies and cream, like that's that's my jam. Bluebell, even after the the, the listeria problems they're having. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, I will say, you know, if I want to get fancy, the uh, Stephen Colbert's, the Ben and Jerry's, yeah. they had the Maricone Dream. Okay, which one do you guys want to start with? Uh, let's go, right. yeah. Chocolate, let's start with the standard chocolate. Right. We can pour some in these yeah, or whatever smart. too. Smart to go standard. God, it smells like fudge. This smells really good. There you go. All right, let's do this. Cold stone time. <laughs> Whoa. That's rich. Y'all barely left any for me. <laughs> it's well, it's only four to five ounces of water. Okay, it's almost too much. This is, I would, I use a little bit more water. Mm. That is so smooth and like crazy creamy. It depends. Yeah, it depends on how you want it. If you want like a legit like fudge, like cream. I mean, this tastes like cake batter, guys. So uh, if you, that's the way you want it, which I could totally get on board with, that's great. Now here's my problem. Like if uh, if Matt, if somebody was dieting though. Not granted, this isn't the protein for you. But like, man, that was gone so fast. You know, I can imagine you'd be. It'd be just like a little tickle, and then you'd be like, where's the rest? If you're on a diet, you don't drink your calories. That's rule number one. <laughs> oh yeah, there you go. That's, yeah, that's smart. Dude, right. we're trying to sell protein powder here. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, do the right thing. Um, that was really good. I, I, I think I've had chocolates though, that are obviously way lower carb, that are almost as good though. But this is one of the best chocolates I've ever had, but 15 gram carb is a pretty pretty Dude, serious hit. You're that. ready for this, aren't you? Is that, is that green, right? That's green. That's green. Yeah, straight that's up cool. green. Oh man, okay. I can't wait for y'all to try this because um, I just got, and I don't know, maybe I got lucky, but I got like a little flavor bomb in there. Yeah. And uh, man, that was perfect. God, the mint shines through so much more than the smell. 
That is, uh, when I smelled it, I was like, ah, it's gonna be weak on the mm. mint. That is so good. Dude, that's melted, that's melted ice cream right there. Yeah, that's the jam. I don't even like mint, but that tastes awesome. <laughs> but okay. I mean, when you're talking Great. about six grams of fat in one scoop, it better taste good. <laughs> I forgot to say the fat. That's what yeah. was in there. Damn, that is good, man. And you got, look at all the little chocolate chips in there. Okay. okay. There's only one other mint chocolate chip that mm. I've had that is almost as good as this, and that's MTS Nutrition, Mark Lobun. Yeah. And he might not know a thing about EAAs or anything, but he knows how to flavor yeah. a protein powder. Oh, and yeah. And his mint chocolate chip's good. This is better. Yeah. But this one also has twice as many carbs as that one or so. I'll, I'll give credit where credit's due. MTS makes a good, good flavor protein. Dude, this is, this is fantastic. If you're a chocolate mint uh, fan, you're gonna like this stuff. And finally, birthday cake remix. Dude, you're... <laughs> <laughs> I had a remix there. Um, wow, that's um, you know, birthday cake is interesting. I guess you're going for like the sheet cake taste, and I, I'm getting it right. I got it for sure. Yeah. Whoa. Okay, we get a lot of birthday cake, like protein bars and everything. That's the first one I've ever had that truly tastes like vanilla birthday cake to me. Yeah, I was gonna say so. It's it's funny. It's kind of like one of those flavors, like when you hear America Pop or. Uh, rainbow candy, it seems like it's a range of things depending on the company, and birthday cake's one of those. Yeah. Where it's like, I, like I get what you're trying to say, but like it's all over the place, I never get a consistent like birthday cake, but that is probably the closest representation to Dude, a true sheet cake. That's the frosting on a cake, as far as I'm concerned. Wow, okay. And I'm not, like I will admit, out of all these, like I, birthday mm. cake would be last on my list to get, and that's simply for the fact that I get burnt out on that flavor so bad. It's kind of a fit chick flavor. It's a little too sweet for me. I don't. Like, Dude, you and your fit chick flavors. It you gotta, is. You gotta stop being so sexist when it comes to flavors. I, <laughs> true. But dude, true. if okay, so I, I think at one scoop a day, if you can like afford in your in your diet, this birthday cake for me is absolutely downright fantastic. Okay. Uh, okay, but this is like over the top sweet tooth. I'm I'm huge on this stuff. It's, wow, it's awesome. I mean, if, okay, so if macros and calories weren't a concern for me, this would be one of the better tasting proteins that I've had. Mm -hmm. It's creamy. It literally, literally tastes like melted ice cream. Yeah, like you said. And yeah, man, I don't know. I like the chocolate best personally. I think it tastes like a chocolate cake batter. Yeah, I'm going mint. I'm going chocolate. Then I'm going fit chick flavor afterwards. <laughs> I'm going birthday. We're all complete opposites. I'm going birthday cake, mint, and then the chocolate. The chocolate is almost too much for me. Wow. So, birthday cake first, huh? It's a little femme. Yeah. It's a little femme day. So anyway, <laughs> dude. Okay, so when Coldstone when Coldstone gets involved in something, obviously they want their flavors to come through, and I think they did it totally, totally right. You can check out price on uh, pricebot.com/bsn. This is not going to be the cheapest stuff. You're going to get a few less servings, and obviously there's the macro hit. But if you're looking for a dessert protein, this stuff's definitely price ball approved. In terms of the macros, yeah, obviously not. But dude, a lot of people don't care, and if you don't, you got to try this at some point. Yep. That's it. I agree 100%. All right. Thanks for joining. Congratulations. Good job, Coldstone. And subscribe to the YouTube channel. Please like, comment. All that stuff is appreciated. We'll see y'all in the next one. Welcome to Price File.